be dictating the latest likes in Bollywood personalities. Well, if you don't believe us, take a look at the crap ache villain. Here's the latest lowdown on the film's numbers. Every love story, there is a hero, a heroine and a villain. Three days of its release, Ek Willen starring Siddharth Malhotra, Ritesh Deshmukh and Shraddha Kapoor had raked in 50 crore rupees at the box office. And since then, there's been no looking back. The film, which is now inching towards the 100 crore mark, has already secured a grand 72 crore rupees. Well, uh, they seem to have hit the bullseye. Whether it is Shraddha singing or the overtly dark side of the characters in the film, one can never be certain about what enthralls the audience. But the filmmaker's concoction of experiments has surely struck the right chord. In Mumbai, Ayushi Syal for Headlines Today. Salman Khan seems to be in awe of the newbie Siddharth Malhotra. He's mighty impressed by his acting prowess and believes that he's the next big thing to have happened to Bollywood. He's also been showering him with praise, giving him gifts and not just that, even attended his house party. Here's the story. He's undoubtedly the most wickedly good-looking villain around. His box office stories have been a success and he has industries Bhaijan looking out for him. Three film old wonder Siddharth Malhotra is in a happy space. Superstar Salman Khan is mighty impressed by his acting abilities and is making his fondness felt by showering the newcomer with praise. Salman was so impressed by Siddharth's acting chops that he reportedly gifted his designer watch to the young actor. <laughs> Salu loved Mohit Suri's Ek Willen and called up Siddharth to congratulate him on his good work. Siddharth missed no time in inviting the superstar to his Mumbai residence where the team of Ek Willen, Shraddha, Mohit, Ritesh and Sid himself were celebrating the film's overwhelming response. And Vala, the superstar, obliged. No, he was very sweet. He called me up uh, that night uh, to congratulate on, on the numbers that the film did and uh, he was very happy. And uh, so I asked him, I said, we were all there, uh, oddly the same night we were all together at my house. And so I invited him first. He said, no, 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 not at all. Uh, I'm at home. I've got some work tomorrow and everything. And in half an hour, uh, he landed up, uh, you know, his, his own style. The superstar arrived at Siddharth's Bandra house with his kick co-star Jacqueline Fernandez and stayed there for a while. Reportedly, Salman spent a lot of time chatting with the three film old actor. Most people present on the occasion were surprised to see Salman and Siddharth chat 19 to the dozen. They have not acted together in any film nor is there any project in the pipeline. The only common point between the senior and the junior actor is that they're both handled by the same celebrity management company. With Saki Desh Pandey in Mumbai, Garma Khurana headlines today. Priyanka Chopra is in the line of fire. She's been asked some tough questions by her fans and to some of these she has absolutely no answers. Here's why the volley of questions that came her way on an online question and answer session left her quite nonplussed. Take a look. An online Q&A session turned out to be a bitter pill for Bollywood actor Priyanka Chopra. She was bombarded with the most uncomfortable questions ranging from those about her father, her co-stars, her collaborations, her music and her work. She did try to answer but it seems the conversation went a little overboard. Here are some questions her fans asked her. Recently a road was renamed in Andheri, Mumbai after your father. What was the reason that it was renamed after him? What contributions has your father made that a road was renamed after him and not after countless other people who strived and died for India? Have you seen the world before her? You were a beauty queen before you became an actress. Do you think beauty pageants are a bad influence in society? What is your opinion about Bollywood directors blatantly ripping off international movies and getting upset that their movies are not accepted at international film festivals? Well, it seems the lady really didn't see this coming her way. The actress is currently crisscrossing the world, shooting for a film in Europe, attending a family wedding in the US, 
and taking care of her business in India. Garma Khurana headlines today. King Khan is all set to entertain his fans like never before. The King of Good Times promises a color promotional spree of his upcoming film Happy New Year. And in other news, we have for you the first look of two of the most awaited films of the year, Finding Fanny and Bang Bang. Coming up in our action-packed wrap of all things Bollywood. King Khan has put together a plan to amass 200 crore even before the Diwali release of Happy New Year. SRK is planning worldwide shows with the film's cast including Deepika Padukone, Abhishek Bachchan, Sonu Sood and Bama Nirani ahead of the film's release. Filmmaker Farah Khan will also join the happy troupe. Buzz is that the prep for the travelling mega show have already begun. The actors have been asked to allot dates in August for rehearsals, which will be conducted in SRK's office. The shows will be held in September and October. The upcoming shows will focus on UK, US and Canada, SRK's strongholds. That's Deepika Padukone's killer look from her next Finding Fanny. While the leggy lass accessorizes the simple Gohan look with a bloodied butcher's knife, it's Arjun Kapoor's John Lennon glasses that have us intrigued. Finding Fanny releases on September 12th. The first poster of Bang Bang is also out. Starring Hrithik Roshan and Katrina Kaif, the film has been directed by Siddharth Anand and produced by Fox Star Studios. The first look promises that the film would have tremendous action and sizzling chemistry between Rithik and Katrina. Bang Bang releases on October 2nd. Oh, oh, watch out you guys because she's spies. With your Balin is the lady of the moment. Her film Poppy Jasus is the week's big release and our entertainment editor Rohit Kilnani spoke with her. Here are some snatches from the conversation. Vidya, when a, when a star at your level, each time you walk in and out of a film, it makes headlines. <laughs> so let's get the record straight. What films are you doing after Bobby Jasus? Uh, the only film I'm doing after Bobby Jasus is Hamari Adhuri Kahani. Um, I haven't greenlit any other projects right, right. yet. I'm looking at scripts, I'm meeting directors, but I've yet to decide what to do after that. Right, so you, you were never gonna, you'd never consider, I remember asking you this last time too, you'd never consider doing Kahani 2, was it being done at all? Or? No, Kahani 2 was, uh, you know, I don't think there were any plans to make Kahani 2. Because Media had started making it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think everyone loves Kahani yeah, so yeah. much that people wanted to see right. Kahani too. But fortunately or unfortunately, there were no plans to ever make Kahani okay. too. You know, you've been in the news for not just your films, but gossip. What is that like? I'm very used to it. Oh, you're very used to it. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been in films for nine years now and there's been a lot of speculation about me at different points of time, sure. professionally, personally. And I don't read anything, I don't watch entertainment news, so I'm quite fine. Right. But of course I get to know things at some point or the other, sure. you know, uh, people who are close to me tell me about it. And I'm most of the time I'm quite amused by the kind of things that uh, get said about me. Do you, do, you, do you use the social media to react, to clarify something? No, I'm don't not on any social media platforms. Okay. Not on Facebook, not on Twitter. You know, um, nothing at all, not even on WhatsApp or... Why would that be? I'm very... Uh, Private. Yeah, I, th I, I don't have anything to say outside of my films. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, Vidya, the perception is that, that, you know, actors like yourself must be getting a lot of film offers. What are offers like? How do they come? How often do they come? Uh, you know, um, thankfully, I think um, there are lots of offers sure. but offers that one considers are not that Unless, many okay. because uh, often times um, the film scripts that come to you are rip-offs or you know at least they're extensions of films Other you've films. already done so then it's not exciting so if it's an original script like Bobby Jasus mm -hmm. you know it's very very exciting right. for an actor like me and I do uh, for the past seven years or so, I've done just one or two films a year and it works perfectly well for me. Right. Vidya, when a film doesn't do well, I asked the, for example, I asked the same question to Akshay. I said, if a film doesn't do well, how long do you take to move on? He said, see, by Friday evening, I know it's not done well. Saturday, Sunday, I'll sulk. 
and by monday i'm off to another <laughs> film that's how it that how is it for you um you know very very honestly uh five of my films worked beautifully sure. uh critically commercially and in every other way so i um i didn't know how to deal with it when ghanchakan and chadi ke side effects didn't do as well as they were expected to uh it did take me a little longer than that but i think maybe um at the cost of those films i will say this that on a personal level maybe i just needed to learn to let go sure um and i i think i needed um a refreshment course in that which i got with these two films and <laughs> yes now i think i initially i didn't even want to like you know accept it i was heartbroken that they didn't work right. but then later you distance yourself from it and you say that every film has its, has own, its destiny. own destiny so it it's not really <laughs> um a judgment of how much you or any of the team members work some films don't work sometimes and it's unfortunate okay so next will be hamari adhuri khani any yes. reason you just signed one film that means we'll be interviewing you only once any time soon <laughs> Yeah um I think Hamari Adhuri Kahani is slated to release next June right. so that's how long it will be before we do another interview I guess no uh, only because you know um the script is being written by Bhat Saab and I got very excited by the idea I've always wanted to work with him sure. as a director uh but this is the closest I get to work with him and I I really like Mohit's work yeah so I'm looking forward to that film but there are other scripts I'm considering nothing that I can commit to here um yet but um yeah i will decide on what to do after hamari adhuri kahani soon she is the most powerful of them all beyond say tops the forbes list of the most powerful people in the world and coming close is husband dearest jz trails at number 6 now that's quite a family isn't it take a look at this story i look to stare so deep in your eyes i touch on you more and more every time when you leave i'm begging you not to go call your name two three times in the row us pop singer beyonce tops the forbes list of the world's most powerful celebrities with estimated earnings of 115 million us dollars over the past 12 months and a string of chart hits Beyonce nabbed the top spot on the annual list pushing Oprah Winfrey from the first spot last year into the fourth spot this year. Yes sir, I'm cut from a different cloth. My texture is the best for a chinchilla. I've been ill and changed my mood. How you think I got the name over? I've been real the game's over. Fall back young. Ever since I made the change over the platinum, the game's been a wrap. Forbes credited Beyonce's massive concert tour for pushing her into the top spot ahead of her husband rapper Jay-Z who ranked 6th. Along with the latest hit album Beyonce, which was released last year, she earned millions from endorsement deals and her clothing line. And in June, she kicked off her first world tour with husband Jay Z. TV talk show host Ellen DeGeneres jumped from number ten in 2013 to number five this year. Rihanna occupied the eighth spot, and Katy Perry took the ninth. Although Beyoncé was not the highest earner on the list, her presence in the press and on social media assured her the top spot. Garima Khurana headlines today. It's now time to give you a lowdown of all the gossip and latest news from the foreign shores. And well, temperatures are soaring in the Hollywood land. as beauties like Irina Shayk and Jessica Alba are flirting with the lens in their hot new photo shoots more on this and other big stories coming up in our hollywood wrap Temperatures are sure to soar sky high as Sun City star Jessica Alba sizzles in a revealing swimsuit in a brand new photo shoot for a leading magazine The sultry siren turns up the heat in the summer themed shoot for the British magazine. Alba's plunging one piece perfectly showcases her flawless figure as does the navy bathing suit she wears on the cover shot. Over 
to another hottie who never fails to impress. Take a look at the hot new racy photo shoot of supermodel Irina Sheik. Where she goes topless yet again. Posing for a famous international magazine, Irina strikes a perfect pose, displaying her incredible figure. And well, if someone is stripping for a magazine cover, another beauty is being treated with some hunky male strippers. She may have had to work on her birthday, but Cheryl Cole's day was given a boost thanks to a saucy striptease. The X Factor judge was treated to a sexy show by a gang of topless dancers as she joined Simon Cowell, Mel B, and Louis Walsh for the audition round of the reality show. Cheryl was left speechless as it was revealed that Simon had hired the hunky men to surprise her with a raunchy show. From a naughty surprise, now let's give you a real shocker. It's been 10 years since The Notebook became a monster hit. But now, film's director Nick Cassavetes has revealed one of the biggest secrets from behind the scenes. The leading pair of the film, Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams, who had intense chemistry on screen, actually hated each other during the shoot. So much so that the Canadian hunk wanted his pretty co-star kicked off the film. Well, it sure comes as a big shocker as the two later became a couple and stayed together for almost four years. Will you go out with me? No! No? Ah! Damn, my hair's slipping. Okay, fine. I'll go out with you. No, don't do me any favors. Varnika Gupta headlines today. I want to go out with you! Alright, alright. We'll go out. <laughs> Now, figuring that it was time for a refresh, Madame Tussauds in London gave Kate Middleton and Prince William's wax figures their first makeover in two years. The couple having first been installed at the popular tourist attraction in honor of their very first wedding anniversary. Take a look at their glamorous new looks. <laughs> <laughs> 